this is Sound Out here, back with another Power Ranger Samurai review. As you can see, we have the Samurai Megazord, Beetle Zord, and Tiger Zord. These are very simple toys because they're deluxe Megazords, so I'm going to go through all of them uh, in as minimal time as possible, still covering everything. Also, this is my first review that is for, specifically for, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles.com. If you do not know of Riders, Rangers, and Rambles.com, go visit it, link below. Um, it is an awesome website. And I am proud to be one of their reviewers on the site. So, um, here we are. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So, first, we'll start off with the Samurai Megazord's box. Um, it is a very, very basic box, but it's still got all the nice things that the Samurai packaging uh, does that I really like. Uh, you got Samurai Megazord down here with the regular Red Ranger here. Um, you've got the five Zords here, the Samurai logo. In the background, you got some cool kanji. I think it's the, Meg the, the combining uh, kanji. On the side, you got blue, pink, green, and yellow um, all lined up. That is the order I'll be uh, reviewing the swords in, by the way. On the side, you get the Zord Builder, um, which is Deluxe Megazord plus Zord Vehicles plus Cycles equals Ultimate Megazord. Um, even though there's going to be more to come. Five Zords also combines with the Mighty Morphin Zords. Uh, my Mighty Morphin Zords are away right now um, in the Zord Archives. Um, which are in a different room and they kind of hard to get to, so um, I might show it off uh, in a different video. And then down here you got uh, the Zord vehicles. By the way, the Swordfish has not come out yet. should be out next month, though, and I really, really want it. And the Dust Cycles. I will be reading those at a later date. Uh, bottom's basic. There's dust on it. Um, top is also very basic. But yeah, that is it for the packaging. We start off with the Red Ranger's Lion Zord. Um... It, it's a lion sword. Um, it actually really does nothing. Um, it's just kind of here. Um, now, I want to get this right out of the way. Uh, as opposed to the Japanese version Shinkano um, of this Megazord, these do not have the emblem modes. Now, um, if you've watched my videos before, you know I have the Shinkinger candy toy uh, mecha, and they have the emblem modes, so I'm all set there. Um, those are kind of fell behind my display shelf, so I can't get to them. I'm sorry. I'm really failing with comparisons, but um, it is missing a couple little details here. You've got um, the rest of the kanji right there, and the silver paint there. Um, aside from that, it's pretty pretty well done. Um, now, this is a very simplified version. It's a, it's a lesser quality plastic, and it's a little smaller, I believe, but it looks really nice. Um, it is quite sturdy, um, even though it has little to no articulation. The only thing you can do is open his mouth. Um, and you don't have to worry about the, the head popping, which is nice. Uh, as you can see, the pegs on the back here are quite noticeable. But, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. Um, it could be much worse. This is certainly one of the better things Bandai of America has done. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to say. Um, Lion Zord. Now, here is where I don't like the Megazord. We're only on the second sword. This is the Dragon Sword. Now, Bandai of America promised us that we were getting a Dragon Sword in 2011. It's just not the one everyone expected. Um, he has an opening mouth, and his head can also uh, move. Aside from that, pretty much limited articulation. Um, you might notice that giant sword sticking out his ass. I, I don't know. You can take it out, and it's, it just, just looks worse. Um... This one took the most sacrifices for the Megazord mode. Um, if you notice, there's these nice... Like, and the kanji's not painted, too, which kind of bugs me. There's these nice lines there. That's where it should fold out. This should fold out. This should, like, fold up. And it looks really cool um, in the Japanese version. But... It just doesn't look that great. Um... And the sword's just stuck here because, well, they didn't include a shield with this Megazord, so they're like, hey, let's just incorporate the tail, or the, the sword as a tail. Um, yeah, this is the this is the weakest Zord in the entire set. Now, here is the Turtle Zord. I love the Turtle Zord. Uh, probably my favorite. It's almost identical to the Japanese version, um, with a different connector peg and... A different connector peg. Um, I really, it's, I think they just remold the connector pegs a little bit here and there. 
but is basically identical um, to the Japanese version. I mean, there's not much else you can take out of this design. Uh, the kanji is painted. Just nice. Um, funny, funny thing, um, you can actually, because of it's required for transformation, you can fold it into its little emblem mode. So if you are a big fan of the Pink Ranger, um, even though the show hasn't even premiered yet um, at the time of this recording, uh, you can have this carried around now. Um, so you can be like... Uh, Pink Ranger, whatever her name is, um, I've forgotten now, because it's sad, but I know she's played by Erica Fong, um, but I don't know her character's name. For the first time ever, I know the actors' names before I know the characters' names. Um, but there you go. Um, it is very, very tiny, um, especially when you put it up next to Lion here. Um, but I, I like it. I really do. Next, we have the Bear Zord. Um, so... No, so yeah, um, again, another repeat name from, uh, the third season of Binding Morphin, um, or the third season of Power, I should say, um, as you can see, he opens his mouth, that's about it, um, yeah, he kind of there, he does look a lot better than the Dragon's or, or as opposed, to, even though he doesn't have the kanji, um, just like Dragon's he's a very deep green, showing up as a different color here, um, gold square there, a little molded in symbol. Um, it's not bad. Um, I still think the turtle um, is the coolest, but I like turtles. Um, turtles are cool. But yeah, um, not much else to say. I was going on something with the bear sword thing. Oh yeah, if, uh, if the Green Ranger ever says, it's time to boogie with the bear in the show, it's going to be awesome if that ever happens. But we'll see. Anyway, um, that, that there's nothing else to say. This is a very, very basic thing. His head can move and his mouth can open. You know, this thing isn't as great as I thought when you split it up into chunks. Finally, we have the monkey, who is the most adorable Zord ever. Um, I mean, it's kind of tied with the, the, the Penguin Zord from Jungle Fury, but... Yeah, um, it's called Ape Zord in the packaging, but I don't agree with that, so I'm calling it a monkey. Um, let's get the little, little logo here. Um, it didn't take too much sacrifices. It actually did improve on something. Uh, the Japanese version, because it had to fold in emblem mode, did not have little feet. Um, they molded in little feet so uh, she can stand and go monkey attack and then fall over, because feet are really tiny. But it's a nice little touch. Um... She got the most articulation because her her uh, little arms will go out and they can go out like that. Um, but yeah, it's a very little simple um, little little sword, but I like it. It's cool. Now that we've gone over each sword, let's get this thing combined. Um, we'll just start with the uh, legs, I guess. Uh, dragon, take out the tail. And a neat little bit of engineering: you push this gray tab push this gray tab, and you pull the helmet out. It's better than just clicking into place and falling off all the time, um, which is really cool. And then all you need to do is flip the head up and close up the leg. Now this will become the left leg of the Megazord. Um, as you can see, there is a little slant thing, um, so it can't stand up on its own. Bear Zord, pretty simple. Just fold up his legs uh, like so, and fold up his head. And now he can actually stand, which I thought was cool. Um, in leg mode. Uh, we'll do the torso next. Uh, lion, pop these back. Pop the legs in. Um, and bring this down. Pop up the head. Um, and as you can see already, it is not going to be blocky. It's got these legs, um, and they just plug on here. And plug on there. Um, and I just realized my tripod isn't high enough. That's not bad. Take a little uh, monkey here. About to call it Saru Origami, but that's not what it is. That becomes an arm. Plug it on. Turtle. Um, folds that. Rotate the wrist. Right. Plug it on. Take the helmet. Set it on the head. Fold up the little head crest. And you've got the Samurai Megazord in Megazord mode. Um, for fun, you can stick the sword right there. Now we're going to look and see how detailed this thing is. Um, 
as you can see, all the sacrifices that were made were to make this Megazord mode look pretty awesome. The sword here is gigantic, and I'm just going to pull it off for now because i got to talk about that. Um, it's got a nice, sleek design uh, with a connector peg up back here. Uh, we'll see about that in a little while. Uh, it looks really, really nice, and it's the same size, it's the same height as uh, Shinkano, despite being a little uh, bit smaller sword-wise. Um, as you can see down here at the legs, they made them extended, so you get a nice-looking, uh, like, it's a guy in a suit, as opposed to just being a stumpy little robot. And then you got, of course, the details on the legs down here. Um, it looks really, really nice, especially with the gold belt buckle type deal there. Um, the only complaint, I wish the silver was up a little bit higher so it can connect a little bit better, but that's very, very minor. Also, you don't have the pegs on the front to contend with because I figured out a better place for those. And it overall looks a lot better as my camera collapses. Talk about the sword real quick. Um, here you can see it is completely gray plastic, but it is gigantic. Um, it is bigger than Shinkano's sword, I believe. Uh, it is rubbery plastic, so it does bend a little bit. Be careful of that. But you know, I got all the little details on here. Um, whatever that says. Actually, I just realized what that is. Um, that is the lion sword breathing fire. That is the dragon sword breathing fire. Bear, bear breathing fire. Monkey breathing fire. And turtle breathing fire. Or they're just kind of walking along. But yeah, you see that there? There's lion... Dragon, uh, bear, monkey, oh, what is that, turtle. Um, wow, that's actually really cool. I never noticed that until just now. Um, on camera discoveries. Now, of course, because he's a Megazord, he can hold his sword. Uh, he can also hold his, there's no shield. Why is there no shield? Why is there no shield? Okay, the shield isn't used that much in the show, but... I mean, it's in the stock footage transformation. That makes me sad. Makes me really sad. What do I do for a shield now? It looks kind of awkward with him just having a sword. Uh, looks like Bandai left out the shield. Why? I really don't know. Um, I guess because I thought it was used so little in the show that it wouldn't be important. <sighs> and they were also getting rid of the head and disc gimmick, which I do appreciate them doing that so I don't have to buy every single toy they put out. Um, but yeah, it's a little disappointing. But the sword looks really nice. And sacrifices aside, the Mega Zord looks really nice. Uh, articulation of shoulders, you can turn the wrist on this one. Also, if you want, you can give him, go give a thumbs up, um, which looks cool from the different angles. But yeah, the lack of a shield really hurts when he tries to hold the sword, so I just kind of keep it sheathed like that. Yeah, overall, the Samurai Megazord, I can recommend if you can't, if you don't have the Japanese sword. I can't recommend it. If you have the Japanese sword, stay with the Japanese swords, because, well, they're still better because they have a shield. Um... But, overall, it's not a bad substitute. It's better than paying $300 for a Shinkano on eBay. Um, I would recommend it to those who want the deluxe-sized uh, Megazords, but don't want to buy the Japanese versions. Um, but we've got more, and this is certainly not disappointing. Let's move on to the Beetlezord. Quick look at the packaging. Um, the Green Ranger Beetlezord here. Um, as it's called, it is the um, Zord Vehicles line. You've got the uh, Zord Builder thing on the side. You've got the Zord Vehicle Action. You've got this cool picture where you got green here, red, blue, pink, and yellow Mega Ranchers, um, which is really cool. Cool. On the back, it advertises all three uh, Zords, how they combine into the Battle Wing Mega Zord, and how plus the Samurai equals uh, that Mega Zord. Plus, down here, it shows off the individual combinations. So very, very basic packaging. So this right now, Tigers are packaging the same, except Red's there, and then everybody else is behind him. Um, but yeah. So 
here's the Beetle Zord itself. It is considerably smaller than the Japanese version. The disc gimmick is removed, uh, not surprising. But they did give some additions. They made the legs bigger, looking a little bit more natural. They made the horn link to the wheels on the bottom, so you can spin, you can roll it along, and it will spin the horn, and you can go fast, fast pace. Um, this is a lot better than trying to spin a disc to do the, the function. Uh, things lacking is the, um, the little eyes of the battle wing are right there. And there are these foot pegs, um, on here. Other, uh, remake is that this piece is a lot smaller, so the gigantic wing piece that is part of the battle wing combination isn't as noticeable, which is really, really nice. Now, like I mentioned, the foot pegs, um, that's because you get a little mini uh, Green Ranger Forest figure here, um, who is uh, very little articulation. He's got neck joint. Um, I don't think anything else moves, because this is all linked. Yeah, it's all stuck together. Um, anyway, he just plugs on by this little peg here that you just plug his foot in, and then his other foot just kind of rests. And he can be all awesome with the Mega Blade and completely out of scale because this thing's a giant uh, Kabuto Beetle. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's an interesting little gimmick. I see why they put it in so they could sell the swords individually, um, which is really nice. But it's really not that necessary. Anyway, uh, this doesn't do anything else on its own. It just kind of rolls around and looks cool. Um, so on its own... Can I recommend the Beetle Zord? Hell no. This thing is $15 at retail, and it does not do enough on its own to justify the price. The only way the justified price is, is by having the Samurai Megazord here. Alone, it's totally not worth it. If you don't have the Samurai Megazord, don't plan on getting the Samurai Megazord, don't pick this up. I will tell you that right away. You will not find much fun. Unless you like Kabuto Beetles that have spinning horns. But, of course, we got combination with Samurai Megazord to make this price all justified. Now to get the Samurai Megazord all ready, you just need to remove his helmet here. Um, you can go back and store it in the leg uh, right where it's stored in Zord mode um, just by clicking it in there. And it'll be fine. I'll leave it in there for um, the rest of the review most likely. You need to take uh, Kabuto here decapitate him without decapitating him. Um, I know that was confusing, but this piece is supposed to come off, just so you know. Um, this decapitation is easier said than done. Um, oh my gosh, that's really tough. Um, this just slides on here. And he's got that. Now, instead of this just hanging off the back and these uh, legs going on the arms, uh, instead he becomes a shield. Which the Megazord should have come with in the first place, but okay, I'm going to go with it. It's a better purposing of the um, of the pieces, and you should open that up, and there you go. Now the only thing you lose is the spinning head, uh, giant horn thing, which I didn't really like to begin with. But the end result here is you've not only got the new sleeker Megazord, but you've got a nice design to go with it. I never liked the idea of having to attach another piece on the back just so it could hold up the body weight of another Zord on his head. I do like... Excuse me. I do like how the helmet is using the original face. And I really do like the repurposing of the uh, Beetle Zord as a shield. Um, it's a lot better use. I kind of wish the, the legs would go on the arms, but that would take away from the sleekness in the arms by having uh, pegs there. Plus, these things are kind of, uh, they're all big and look good in Zord mode. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really nice. Um, now, can, yeah, can I recommend the Beetle Zord if you have the Samurai Megazord? If you intend to continue the line after the Samurai Megazord, um, if you're only getting the first Megazord to each series, then just get Samurai, just get Beetle. But Beetle Zord is definitely worth it. You're going to be collecting the, um, the line, of course. But yeah, um... I almost forgot he came with this until I looked at the packaging um, to do this review, and then I remembered I put these in my drawer. Um, these, yes, we have another another Zord. Let's move on. 
Here is the Tiger Zord, another name share with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, I did that all Canadian like, but I decided to change. I don't know what I did there. Anyway, here is the Tiger Zord. He is really tiny compared to his Japanese version. He's only a little bit bigger than my candy toy. Um, he looks really nice. Uh, I must admit they did do pretty good there. Um, it is got some changes here. Uh, as opposed to having all four drills spinning and me requiring a lot of mechanics in here, uh, when you turn the little disc inside, it just spins the front two drills. The back two have been remolded to locate feet, though. This is good for this mode. This is bad for all other modes. I'll talk about that in a minute. But there you go. Uh, it does have a rolling um, gimmick where you got uh, epic spinning drills in the front. And it, it makes sense it's in the front because why would it be going backwards to attack things. It'd be drilling forward. Um, now you see the foot pegs here for the little Mega Ranger fire you get uh, neck and wrist articulation. Um, and he can just go on here like like very simply um, except for the fact that his feet are really close together. Um, and then he can be like whoa we're making a wide turn because um, that's like the most awkward pose ever for what he's attempting to do here, uh, but it, it's got a nice, it's got rubber on top of this, so it can roll along, I just need to hold my poster board. Um, again, kind of a silly gimmick with the, the whole Zord Rider thing, but it carried over from Mighty Morphin 2010, so, I mean, it's not too bad. But that's all he does on his own. So again, can I recommend this on its own? Hell no, because for $15, you're getting a tiger that has spinning drills. If you really like a tiger that has spinning drills and have no interest in anything else, then find it on sale, I guess. I don't know, $15? They are a little overpriced, I must admit, but having it with the Samurai Megazord just makes it a little bit more worth it. Let me just get to that. After you've removed the helmet off the Megazord, you just need to flip this little clip piece back here, and you're all set. Um, now, the tiger is going to essentially uh, parts form most of this. This Megazord, of course, is going to part form. And take the tail and the head, plug the little crest thing on the head. Um, this does not fold, so this is a little inaccurate for this mode, but it doesn't bug me that much. Now, to take this here, um, you're supposed to just move these two out of the way onto the sides. Um, if I can do that like that. I don't like that because um, I just don't. So I just pop this one off. Bring these to the back so they look a little bit uh, more spiky and crown-like. And then bring this over here. Uh, so yeah, confusing much, but there you go. Um, why is that not staying on? I don't know. But there you go. Um, this just plugs on back here via a couple clips. And get, he got taller. Um, and just slide the helmet on. And there you go. There is the uh, Tiger Zord combined with the Samurai Megazord. Um, Combination-wise, nothing has changed aside from the flipping up of the back part. Because uh, really nothing needed to be changed. It was a pretty good design overall. Yeah. Um, there's nothing else to say. Um, looks like we've come to the end of this review. Uh, because I cannot continue further without a swordfish sword. So, are the samurai swords worth it? That's the big question here. Yes, if you don't have the Japanese versions. If you don't have the Japanese versions, these are great, as they will run you a lot less than the Japanese versions. If you have the Japanese versions and you have an extra 60 let's see now, $75 lying around, Go ahead and get these. Um, Megazord's 30 Each of these are $15. Uh, with the Swordfish Zord, there's a total of $75. That means I spent already close to how much I spent on all four RPM Megazords, just with the first eight Zords, and we still got to get to 11 Well, we'll see when it gets there. Anyway, Bandai, if you do not release the rest of the Zords, I am going to kill you all with my Mega Blade. I'm just kidding, I can't do that. That'd be illegal and moral. But, no, I'm really hoping. I've noticed, I've noticed here, 
um, some of the parts to attach the Squid Zord to the uh, the Battle Wing Megazord, like these, uh, this clip right here is used for nothing. And um, I think that's part of the tail combination. But yeah, there's I, I've noticed some points here, uh, mainly that, even though it's used for other things. Uh, for I noticed that they will probably continue with the rest of the Zords, um, at least up until Golds. Probably will. That just killed a gnat. Um, probably do the giant ox cart at the end, um, because that doesn't require any new pegs. Um, everything's already kind of set. But, enough rambling. Go to the place where rambles are welcome, and riders and rangers. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this review. Um, now... Check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com for more Tokusatsu stuff and goodness um, where, where Shukwin Shinobi and Dawson Rider and Jettymon2005, uh, which is his YouTube name, and a bunch of other people are on there um, for uh, podcasts, reviews, news, and updates for all your Tokusatsu needs. Um, anyway, talk to them, Sound saying goodbye.